Today, we're going to simplify radicals. Now, if you remember from the last lesson, we worked with perfect square numbers. A perfect square number is a number whose square root comes to a whole number. So the perfect square of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 25 is 5. And remember, it's important to know your square root number is through at least the square root of 20, if you can make yourself a list. Now, when you have the square root of a perfect square number, it comes to a whole number. What happens when you have the square root of a number that's not a perfect square? Well, what you have to do is you have to simplify. You have to break it down. For example, the square root of 12, you look for the factors of 12. And we want to see if we can get a factor that is a perfect square inside 12. We could try 6 and 2, but that won't help us because neither 6 nor 2 are perfect squares. How about 4 and 3? That would help because 4 is a perfect square. And so you could do 4 times 3. It stays in the radical. The 4 part gets released. It comes out as its square root, which gives me 2 outside the radical. The 3 stays inside. And so the simplification of 12 is 2 radical 3. Let's look at the square root of 50. We could look at the factors of 50, let's say 10 and 5, but that won't help us. 10 and 5, neither of those are perfect squares. How about 25 and 2? That would help, because 25 is a perfect square. Again, important to know your perfect square numbers. The 25 part comes out of the radical as its root, 5. The 2 part stays in, and so you're left with 5 radical 2. That is how you simplify the radical. In our next lesson, we'll work with adding and subtracting radical numbers.